Hello Leo, my name is Tree Greenfield. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here at this time, especially right now. Um, this is a special time for you. We are in the month of August and we are in the middle. I'm in the middle right now of the Lion's Gate portal um, opening this time. You know, I'm not at the peak yet. We're not nearly to the 888 of this year 2024 but that being said i want to say that this also this is a timeless reading so whenever this message gets to you it was meant for you if you resonate with the message it was meant for you if you don't resonate with the message then it's probably not for you this time but there's lots of other timeless readings for you to check out or your other placements your moon your rising your ascendant your sun your venus whatever you feel called to watch to uh to hear more about and um to uh, help you to move forward now this is a special time for you leo this is um this is the beginning of a new cycle for you um in in your solar your soul's journey um you you could be experiencing a birthday if this is your solar sign and if this is your ascendant sign then this is your first uh also another beginning here so what we're looking at today is uh how to uh how to decide for yourself your goals uh what you should in release and embrace at this time because it's important for you all of us at this time should be making a very distinct and clear intentions for the next year because of this Lionsgate portal but for you Leo it's especially powerful because it is your sign and so any any birth month sign I would say the same thing to make this make an set a nice intention for the year ahead that you something that you want to achieve within the next year and so this is a good time for us to look at things that you want to release and embrace and maybe what you want to let go of and what you want to help how are we going to you know we're going to ask spirit some information about how to um, how to help you to move forward in the in the easiest way and for what's for your best and highest good how to deal with obstacles things like that so I'm going to go ahead and start with this deck of the Rider weight, and we're going to look at some uh, cards for release and uh, embrace. I'm going to do like, let's see, we'll have a release column and an embrace column to start. And I'll have the release and the embrace. That's what we want to do there. Thank you, Spirit, for Leo's highest good. Oops, let's do a good shuffle here. There we go. All right. All right, so let's see. What do we want to release? What do we want to embrace? Okay. So we have the hanged man, and that's a major arcana for you. And so we have here... Um, an invitation for you to look at the world from a different perspective right now, Leo. So if this is a time for you to set goals for the year, and I suggest that it probably is, then this, the hanged man card is asking you to sacrifice some uh, time and to be, go, you know, go inside yourself, think, um, slowly right now about what you want to accomplish what you want what uh, what lessons have you learned um, how uh, how you've grown you know in the, from the past um, you're moving into a new year uh, a new chronological year or a new um, solar you know um, a new cycle into your first house perhaps so this is a good time to take the time to creatively think about, um, you know, all things, basically, all things that, especially things that, that uh, where you want to go, what you, who you are inside and who you really are and who you want to be, what, what you want to project yourself to be next, because, you know, you are so creative and so um 
you're you're able to confidently show yourself and and so just think take the time now to think more deeply about what you want others people to see from you and that's that's a good advice for all of us but especially right now for leo here we have the seven of pentacles here and this is also asking you to look back on what you have achieved and set new goals so good leo this is another uh, card that's very appropriate for this reading um, it's asking you to look at your progress to reflect on you know the past how far you've come basically this is definitely um, a call to you know take take stock in what you've achieved so far and think about where you want to go from here um, it's asking you to continue to be persevering to remember where you've been and what what you what you want to go ahead and so another thing about remembering the past is also remember think about the things that used to bother you or that you, you used to be afraid of and that you're not anymore or think about the things that you are afraid of and that will help you to find the things that you uh, for your own personal growth that you may want to overcome at this time um, it could also help you to decide what you what you like best what do you feel comfortable and happy about and so this is a perfect time for reflecting uh, don't forget when you're making your goals to take the time to think clearly carefully about you know where you want to go from here what do you want to what do you want to conquer next in this next year it's pretty important now these cards are supposed to tell us about what to embrace so let's look at that okay we have the fool card and the moon card um so if the fool is mostly the the unknown they both say the same similar things here um to embrace this new path this new journey that you have and the moon card is telling you that uh, you know be careful about the things that aren't there of seeing things that aren't really there be careful of delusions when you're planning ahead embrace the mystery um, release the uh, the feeling that you need to be sure of the outcome you want to be sure about the feelings that you're going to have in the end the joy the jubilation the the recognition the abundance that you are that you want to achieve but as far as the specific outcome of how it's going to happen or whatever uh, or exactly what it's going to look like is you know embrace the fact that you you don't know that yet and you know release the control that you want to have over every minute detail and so you want to tap into your subconscious and allow that intuition to guide you the moon spirit the moon represents our intuition in a lot of ways and so the moon will be there to guide you through even though this dark and unknown place um, you know where there's going to be some scary things there's going to, there's going to be some things to deal with here uh, but you are you know you are watched over by spirit and you are uh, guided by your own intuition and by the moon itself and so um, there's some fears there to deal with to overcome and this is something else that you have to look forward to in the in this near future this next year ahead the full card is actually another way of saying that this is a new beginning and it's time to take a leap of faith and to embrace this new this brand new year with enthusiasm and joy and wonder and curiosity because you know this is this is your new start here again Leo this is uh, the potential and there's a lot of anticipation about this new year for you um, so this is the time for you to embrace that energy and spread your wings and fly and so there we go with that I'm going to get some more uh, cards now to um, help us to let's see spirit please uh, um, please expound on these themes and help Leo in the highest good uh, give them the most 
useful advice for them to make their plans for this next year and to um, to embrace the uh, wonderment and to reflect sorry they were upside down I'm going to turn them right side up all right let's see what I can there we go. all right so for Leo thank you spirit for Leo all right the first card we have is the five of crystals or the five of earth persistence and new possibilities so we're going to check into that a little bit um, the five of crystals um, so this is a time of change and transition and uh, it's going to take some some persistence on your part Leo but you have that energy in you anyway let's look at this the eight of crystals dedication and progress this is another card that's telling you, you know, this earth is something that you want to produce physically, some physical achievement or some abundance and prosperity that you're reaching for. This is a good time for you to work, uh, to be persistent, to be dedicated, to go for that progress, to make the progress. Um, let's see what else we have here. Transformation transition liberation this is like the death card this is uh, showing us a time of uh, death to old ways and a rebirth and every year of life is like that in a way it's like we're saying goodbye to the past we're saying hello to the future we have anticipation for the future with this full card like you know, we we are making uh, a big transition um, Sometimes we're making small transitions, okay, uh, especially if we're not really aware of what's going on. You know, we're not really aware yet of the, the spiritual side of things, perhaps. But um, for you, Leo, I think this is a very exciting time of transition and moving forward and changing yourself into a better version of yourself. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with yourself now. You're already a beautiful, vibrant, charismatic person. Uh, creative and uh, gorgeous but uh, you know every, we all have the ability to evolve and to get better and better and more and more happy and with ourselves so that's this is something that we're looking forward to at this time I'm going to read uh, the, from the guidebook about these animals here and let's get some more uh, details about them so let's look at first of all the five of crystals and let's see that is basically like that five of pentacles and uh in the regular rider way it's a kind of a sad card but you know the spirit songs tarot have uh, a, a more optimistic look outlook on everything while taking into consideration all aspects so the five of crystals is depicted by the ladybug which is also a sign of good luck so i want to add that in there too for this five of crystals or five of earth persistence and new possibilities a guardian of wishes fulfilled ladybug delivers luck and protection she's savvy in illuminating the spirit during times of stress and worry laced with the energies of renewal ladybug is your guide in design in designing a path for newfound happiness so that's that's what we're doing here isn't it Realign yourself with what you need to in order to move upward and onward, and new opportunities will present themselves. Take time to review what you want in life. There you go, that Seven of Pentacles, and believe that you can achieve it. And that's that's your fool card. And also, this hanged man is asking you to, you know, uh, realign yourself. You know, you um, illuminate yourself get illuminated take a look back and um, you know take the time to review what you want in your life you know a lot of times we think we want something and we haven't really thought it out very well uh, you know and and uh, or we have thought it out and then we get there and it's something you know we weren't expecting so but this ladybug is a, a sign of luck for you that you have luck and protection you are um, able to choose the right path for you 
And so we're going to move on to the Eight of Crystals, and that's about dedication and progress. Let's check that out right quick. The Eight of Crystals, the Buffalo. Dedication and progress. Strong and stable Buffalo walks his sacred path, embarking upon his journey with dedication. He's devoted to putting all of his effort into reaching his destination. Buffalo is full steam ahead on his road to glory, and his commitment is proving to be worthwhile. He's here to remind you that even if your work seems tedious, just keep going. Be adaptable, develop your craft, and plan your moves. With vigilance and care, know that you will be met with success. So effort, dedication, progress, confidence, adaptability, all of those aspects um, are with you, Leo. And you have that buffalo spirit too, as well as that lion spirit. Um, so um, be patient with your work. Um, and... You know, try not to take shortcuts with your success because it's important for you to stay dedicated and to uh, develop your skill in this achievement that you desire. Okay, let's look at that transformation card, uh, number 13, the major arcana. We have one, two, three, four major arcanas here for you. Out here, out of seven cards, four are major arcanas. All right, let's look at the first one is transformation. Not the first one, but the one, the cicada. Transition and liberation. A symbol of renewal and rebirth. Cicada sweeps away the past, setting upon a clear new pathway. Having a transformative life cycle, cicada assists in working through spiritual changes to move from an ending of a cycle into a fresh new beginning. And in the creation of the new healthy you, the clearing of obstacles allows your energy to move forward. Life is permanently changing, and change brings forth creativity and new freedoms. So, uh, Leo, this is the beginning of a new year for you. This is a new birth year, a new ascendant year. You are transforming and becoming a better version of yourself. Um, transformation you're becoming more free and more uh you know more happy renewed um, it's a change for the better if you're lacking in any motivation or feeling that life is stagnated let go of the past and allow change to transpire so just allow the change to happen okay so think uh take that uh hanged man time and you know Go, go within yourself, enlighten yourself, become transformed by the things that you know within yourself to be true. All right, I'm going to go ahead and top off this little pyramid I've made with the Egyptian Oracle cards. These are very good for uh, helping us to see how spirit is helping us, how it's supporting uh, what you're trying to do and this transformation that you're going through and these new goals that you're setting. So for Leo, what do we have? What does Leo need to know and how is Leo being supported at this time? Okay. All right, let's check this out. All right, for Leo, the first one you have here is Ma'at, Truth and Fairness, number 13. Again, we have the 13 again, um, or the 4. Let's see, it's definitely a number 13, a number 13. So let's look at that carefully. Uh, Ma'at is the goddess or name. So let's check out 13. One second here. Okay, Ma'at, goddess of harmony, justice, and truth. She is usually depicted as a young woman with wings or holding the scepter of power, a symbol of eternal life. She wears an ostrich feather on her head, a symbol of lightness. Ma'at also represents universal order. 
all existence moves on the basis of the principle of justice, interpreted as a law that must be observed. It is time for recovery and restoration. You may receive rewards for certain right actions, but also punishments and consequences for wrong ones. Remember that happiness can only be achieved through fairness, righteousness, and moderation. I think that's good advice for you, Leo, because um, you know you are planning ahead and creating a new future for yourself. You're transforming. You're changing. You're setting goals for yourself. And in while you're doing that, another thing to consider is how to stay uh, fair and just, because that's what's also contributing to your happiness in the end. Uh, because all things uh, do eventually, you know, come around. Uh, so just keep that in mind um, as a way of uh, looking forward, you know, uh, pr pr planning for your future and your, your pro you know, your, um, you know, what, what you plan for should feel, feel like it's uh, righteous and just. And merciful towards others so let's go ahead and see what the next card is and it is called it's number four nut understanding again that number four here we have the 13 the 13 and the four which are all fours so let's look at number four and that God name is or goddess her name is nut N-U-T. Understanding. Goddess of the sky and celestial bodies, she swallows the setting sun and gives birth to it in the morning. Her immense naked body covered with stars is stretched out to form an arch that towers over the whole earth. Her arched position clearly shows her power in the sky and over the celestial objects. Her nakedness represents the purification of the soul. The stars that cover her symbolize the resurrection, the great light that illuminates. Your life is a mysterious journey. That's right here. You have reached this point, and Nut wants you to help you to understand your purpose and your destiny. Press on with confidence, because now you know that there will be favorable events on the horizon. You might achieve your desired... See, if you... Press on with confidence because now you know there will be favorable events on the horizon and you might achieve your desired objectives. Okay, so um, this is like the night sky over, uh, it's like the moon card in a way. It's like, you know, the Egyptians, they revered the sun so centrally. The sun, which is your, uh, sun, your planet, Leo. So... That's what makes this Leo time and the Egyptian time and the Lionsgate portal all together, uh, work together. Um, but here you have also the moon and the, to, to remind you of this period that you don't know um, a lot of things, but you are protected and you are guided by your own intuition and your own knowing internal knowing your your persistence your courage and your strength is all coming through in this reading so my advice would be according to this is to make plans for your for your next year ahead for your future but especially for this year find yourself a, a you know go inside take time re, you know think about the past and how you want to move forward and create a clear intention and keep uh, keep mercy and justice in mind um, and find something that um, you're going to want to develop your skill with and to be like the eight you know have this eight of pentacles vibe of progress and and, and working on the skill building the skill um, remember you do have luck on your side especially I mean it's your birthday. I mean, of course, you're lucky right now. Uh, everybody, you know, everybody should be lucky on their birthday. But for real, you do have uh, a lot of 
of strong luck and um, help for yourself there is, is happening going on right now so i guess that's all for now i really do appreciate you being here i hope that you found this information useful uh, in your plans for the future and i would just like to invite you to come back again and check it out check out what um, you know what these cards have to say for you um, i do appreciate like i said you being here your likes and your shares and your comments everything is so so greatly appreciated by me i want to uh, emphasize that of course so until next time, thank you, Leo. Love and light.